Warp Pipe Wednesday. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Warp Pipe Wednesday. I'm Russ Lyman. What's up, guys? I'm NES Addict. And thanks for joining us. Uh, this is a shorter form of our podcast. We have a full podcast. The weekly Warp Pipe comes out every Saturday at 7 a.m. This is more short form content with me and Jay. Yep, I love it. Guess what, Russ? What's up? It finally came. <laughs> I am yes. now official with there my we warp, my weekly warp pipe mug. Cheers. <laughs> if you guys want to uh, support the podcast, you can pick up some merch at the weekly warp Yeah. We got mugs, stickers, magnets, pins, and soon to be t-shirts. So all the good stuff. That's right. So we're jumping in the warp pipe and going back probably about the nineties, maybe early two thousands and checking out pogs baby yep this is our <laughs> podcast <laughs> i'll allow it since i'm a dad now dad yeah, jokes. dad jokes are, are legal they're all good so i busted out my little i found these digging through this is my little uh laser caps it says <laughs> on it for that's, a buck that's an amazing name so i probably got this at the dollar store i bet but i i wrote on it um yin yang pogs on this <laughs> so for whatever reason, I was fascinated with all the uh, yin yang style pogs. So I have quite a collection there. And then I have another container as well. I don't have all of them here. I still have some at my mom's, but I dug them out and I was like, we should can showcase a few of these here and reminisce about pogs back in the day. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any of my pogs to my knowledge. I mean, I I just I don't have a clue what they would be. So right. have to look I, mean, at yours. <laughs> I mean, having them in this container. Um, was easy to, you know, put them in a milk crate or box or whatever and and not lose them. So I was uh, fortunate enough to keep a bunch of those. Um, yeah, most of them are yin yang. I found this one here was kind of kind of neat. It's a yin yang. And on it, it says um, chill. If I could get it to, chill, to focus on it, chill, it might be yo. too bright. <laughs> cover, your, cover your face up. Oh, there, we there go. you go. Now we're chilling. So it's like a yin yang, but it says chill on each side. And then this one has a... Um, like two ghouls and stuff like Ooh, that. I like that. It looks like the Crypt Keeper. Right. Yeah, it does kind of look like the Crypt Keeper. Especially the green one. Yeah. So I thought that was kind of neat. But but most of these, like, you know, are your generic um, yin yang. Like, the, well, you know what? These have like eight balls in it. And I think eight balls was another big uh, design for Pogs. Eight yes, ball yeah. and yin yang were like the most mid 90s stereotypical image <laughs> somewhere yeah. a, a 14 year old russ lyman was obsessed with yin yangs <laughs> i think it might have to do probably watching all the karate movies and whatnot and like you know three ninjas kick back and uh any john claude van damme movie and i'm like okay yo yin yangs are in there means kind of karate or whatever have you ever heard uh, this the saying there's a little bad and every good and a little good and every bad and that's kind of like the idea of the yin yang no okay yep how about this how about these yin yangs here that resemble uh like throwing stars <laughs> they actually they actually are like blades that's super awesome i love that They're so like, 90s look at, oh this one even look i'll flip it over and it literally says blade 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 <laughs> Blade. So maybe a little uh inspiration from uh what was that other one? Beyblades. Beyblades. I think yeah, I think Pogs came before Beyblades. Right. So I guess a little backstory. They originally were called milk caps. Yeah. Um, and if you guys never heard of Pogs before, never played the game, essentially you would take um your pogs here. You know, you get a, a stack of pogs. Um, I I don't know which way you would face them. I would say upside down. I think maybe it was upside down. And they did come with like, um, if you're getting like a starter kit or whatever, it came with like a mat, almost like a uh, like a mouse pad. Oh, yeah. So I you remember lay those. The, the mouse pad down, stack your pogs on it, and then you would get this pog that was heavy or metal called a slammer. And then you would use that to throw at the pogs and then whatever ones like flipped up, then you would get the keep essentially. And then you keep going. You remember their slogan, right? No. It was like Pogs. It's gambling for kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's like rolling the dice, but you're like, all right, I'll bet you I can uh, get five of your Pogs. 
Do you, go, you, you know, you go home all broke with no pogs and you're, you know, you're, <laughs> I see you to school with 10 pogs. What your happened? necktie is undone. You got some stubble on your face. You're like, honey, I lost all my pogs today. <laughs> and she's like, dang it, Jay, get your act together. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I mean, there's a company that was like, that was the brand pog. Right. Yeah. So they had, I'll have to, I'll have to bring it up here. They had like a mascot as well yeah he, he kind of always reminded me of like uh captain caveman from hanna barbera I don't he kind of just I... looked like a little furry uh caveman guy right right there we go um let's see okay let me sh- share this screen with you guys so you can see the the pog logos if you guys are watching here on youtube if you're not we'll do our best to describe it to you the pog man wonder if he has a name so here's a bunch of different logos and stuff but what jay's talking about is is uh this guy right there oh yeah world pog his... federation <laughs> world pog wpfc look it says 1994 so you know you're about 13 14 when this came out there's a there's a better picture of him right there yeah, yeah he's look. he's like all fur got some feet and stuff but his teeth like his mouth's like huge yeah it's like his whole body so his whole body's fur and then his teeth is like takes up most of it there. He's got um, some whiskers, some beady little eyes and like a, a My Pet Monster type nose. Right. So I'm like pogunlimited.com. Is that is that still a site here? Couldn't tell you. Limited. Well, we're going to it now. <laughs> Forbidden. Oh, OK. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, you might not want to go there. <laughs> fair you enough. Might fair see, enough. You might see a different kind of pog that you don't want to see. You might see some slammers, too. <laughs> so so the slam did you have any sp- specific type of slammer what, what's funny is you were talking about the eight ball slammer i'm almost positive i had like an eight ball slammer nice um yeah obviously i had the yin yangs for whatever <laughs> reason but um yeah they were metal most of them i think were like gold that i had like and gold so or silver yeah either it could be thin but still metal but i had some that were almost like double that size so you're like okay more weight is going to flip the pogs over when you're you're hitting it um on the mat there um and that that actually brings up a quick story i'll jump into i was actually in a uh pog tournament <laughs> that's <laughs> press, amazing press already my shoulder off. i was in the parking lot of a sam's club which was close to my house so i rode my bike up there and they had a bunch of like folding tables set up outside and you know you sign up at the sheet or whatever and then you'd face off against whoever and you know i won a few rounds and i remember going up against this kid and i did the uh you know threw my slammer down boom on the table and the pog had fell off of the table so i was the one to like go pick it up and he was like oh which side is it on and i could easily just lied to let it slide in my favor and i was like oh you know it was upside down or whatever so i ended up losing the match <laughs> you, you know what the rust honesty is always the best policy you know <laughs> had you lied a lightning bolt may have come from heaven and just struck you dead right there at the pog world championship <laughs> so i don't know what the you know the prize was to win is probably a gift card somewhere but uh it's still fun to enter in there <laughs> there was probably uh you know like a copy of little samson or something i don't know if it would be a nintendo game maybe a super nintendo game right right <laughs> um do you remember getting pogs anywhere so i um i remember getting some i probably got them at like walmart for whatever reason i wanted these spider-man pogs and it had like uh the rhino spider-man uh kingpin Nice. I remember I remember Venom being on one of them. It was pretty cool. I don't really remember the slammer per se, but um I, I remember getting cool. those. For some reason I had some Bobby's World Pogs. I yeah. don't, don't know why. And um at the ice skating rink where I used to play hockey, they had these uh slurpees with like the little dog on it with like the little beanie. And yes, on yes. the bottom of the cup where it's kind of like indented up. Mm-hmm. There was a small, thin piece of paper, and if you pulled the paper out, there was a, a Slurpee Pog inside for you. So it was like you could collect the Pogs as you got the drinks. Nice. Kinda cool. Yeah, almost like a Cracker Jack prize or something like that. Exactly. And I, feel I don't like... ever remember getting them out of out of uh, cereal boxes, but I'm sure they were in there. 
Right. Like I said, I feel like it's a pretty easy prize to do um, because it's just basically cardboard. You're printing on whatever. Even uh, so, I have a few here. I'm not sure where they came from. Um, I'll showcase, but they're uh, like WB Pogs. Nice. Um, and they have like the Animaniacs on them right there. And what's funny is um, going through it. So on the back of them, there's another image. And you can also see like it seems like it wasn't lined up like where they punched the pog because there's some white on this one. So I'm like, OK, that's kind of weird. Um, and then one of them here actually has a Earthworm Jim um, picture on the back of it that's in like black and white or whatever. That's cool. But so, I feel like, yeah, they, they were probably on like a sheet of some sort. And then they, um, you know, you punched them and maybe these just didn't line up. You think they were like a Nintendo Power or something? Um, I don't know if these would be like, it would seem weird for me to have WB uh, Pogs in there. Like, that's what's so weird. It's like WB, but also Earthworm Jim. Yeah, that's like two really random things to piece together. So I'm not sure where it could have been from, but I do have... Not on me. I when I found this collection a few years back, I found some Mega Man X Pogs. Nice. And oh, that oh, I don't have it here. Just <laughs> jock my memory. I just recently bought last convention at Retro World Expo. I picked up some Virtual Boy Pogs. What? There was like four of them, and they were like holographic or whatever, like where you would turn them and then you would see an image. So it would say like Virtual Boy, and then you would turn it, and it'd be like Mario Golf. Like uh, lent, like were they like lenticular with that like zippy stuff on? Yes, it? yes, yes. So that by was zippy cool. stuff, I mean you rub your fingernail across and it goes <laughs> like that. <laughs> Love it. Give me a good visual on that. Um, yeah, so I mean, pogs were certainly a fun thing um, for sure back then. Cheap to make, um, and I found some actually at a uh, store, Ocean State Job Lot. I don't know if you guys have those down south. It's kind of no. like a it's like a discount store. Uh, it has like food, clothes, toys, kind of everything. Right. So they get a mishmash of stuff. And I actually found someone had posted somewhere. So I went went to the store and found pogs there, like in the package, like new. It was like new, new or like like new old stock. Yeah, new old stock. So oh, it was cool. From the so 90s. from back in the day. Wow, that's yeah. cool. And it had like that logo that we were looking at that says, um, you know, Pog with the guy on there. And they, they were almost in is basically like um, if you got cards, like packs of baseball cards or or whatever, and they were in there and you'd open it up and, you know, there'd be like six Pogs in there. So these weren't laser caps. These were the official Pog. <laughs> right. <laughs> you, know what Pog's, you, know, say? you know what Pog stands for, right? No, what does Pog stand for? Party on, Garth. <laughs> Jay with all the dad jokes today. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they had it's because I most likely picked up this case at the dollar store. So I'm sure they had some type of pogs at the dollar store as well. Yeah, that sounds like a perfect name for like a like a knockoff pog laser caps. Laser you know? caps. <laughs> like something you would see at the dollar store. Right, right. And kids are like, oh yeah, kids like lasers, right? <laughs> Yeah, like like if you had a transformer, it'd be like a transmorpher. You know, they always have to change it a little bit. Right, where it's similar but not. Mm -hmm, exactly. Um, I do wish I had. Um, I think they had binder. Um, how how would you describe it? Way to display the pogs instead of putting your like, cards. Almost like you like you would put like a coin in, like a yes. coin collect case. Right, like a coin collection. So this way you can take take your pogs and and put them in the sleeves and then appreciate them more because you know, carrying them around in, in a cylinder or whatever. You can't appreciate what's inside here. And just like your wife, you can check out the front and the back. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, look no. at this. I got a, I found a, um, this is a football pog. Not that I'm that into sports, but here's, uh, I guess, Steve Young. The Steve from, Young pog. From, uh, the, and on the back, it gives you a little, uh, statistics and stuff. And I believe so. It says Tombstone Pizza. So you probably got this. That's awesome. In, in a in a freaking pizza box. I wonder how many kids that went over to buy, make their parents buy them Tombstone. Oh, they're like a DiGiorno. <laughs> right. Mom, you have get to the get box. the Tombstone. I got to get that that uh, Troikman Pog or whoever. <laughs> <laughs> I 
so many designs. Yeah, I mean, they had pog machines too. Like you can make your own um, pogs. Oh, that's cool. cool kind of cool. Um, pog. Let's say I look up pog maker. Hey, you know where I bet they had pogs? Like uh, bubble gum machines that you would see like the end of a grocery store. I mm, I wonder because yeah, how would that would be like be the perfect to thing out? to put in one of those bubbles that you open up and like. Take oh a oh right, I'm, for whatever reason, I'm thinking they'd be in there like loose, loose. Oh no, yeah, no, they're <laughs> they're in the bubble. Um, let's see. We'll go share this screen and show you guys the pog, the pog maker. So milk cap maker, milk cap maker, right there. So it looks like a little um machine like it's basically like a, a hole punch for pogs right you get your design you put it in on here and push it in and then you're gonna punch down and pop, and pop the pog out pop the pog yeah it all seems to be the same the same machine labeled as milk cap maker i'm gonna youtube i'm mean, not youtube i'm gonna uh ebay it right now to see if i can't find one. Ooh, here's one for 50 bucks 50 bucks. Yeah. Seems like a little expensive, eh? Milk cap maker. Is that the yep. one you're looking up, I guess? Oh, here's a rare one. Vintage milk cap maker. This one's only $12, but looks like it's from the <laughs> United Kingdom. Look at this one. It says troublemakers. Troublemakers. I saw one earlier when I was looking around, Russ, and it was like this guy with like bars in front of his face, like he was in jail, and it says you're in the slammer. It was like a slammer. <laughs> so good. I know, I like there's, a, there's a Kirk Cobain one. That's crazy. Yeah. Five bucks. Buy it now. So there literally any type of pogs you want. Here's some Green Day. So Billy I guess Joe. music pogs as well. Bo Jackson. And now, now we're getting some espresso. <laughs> Different pogs. Type. We're looking up pods, I guess. <laughs> Cappuccino <laughs> pods. There you go. But yeah, right here. Look, Milk Cap Maker Pog. The World Pog Federation. That's it so still doesn't funny. say what. If Pog stood for something other than yeah, that. party on Garth. I already told party you. On Garth. Come on, Russ. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> <laughs> so Pogs, let us know if you guys uh, collected them, and uh, hey, maybe we could get some weekly warp pipe Pogs added to our arsenal of merch. There you go. I think that needs to happen. <laughs> I'll buy one of these uh, machines with uh, some of my Patreon money, and we'll go to town. <laughs> Bring Pogs back 2023. 2023. If you guys uh, enjoy this every Wednesday, we do short episodes like this, Warp Pipe Wednesday, and you can catch our full podcast every Saturday at 7 a.m. Um, you can watch on YouTube or anywhere you listen to podcasts. Check out the weekly warpipe.com for more information on that. You can follow me at Russ Lyman on all the social medias. Jay, where can we find you? TikTok, you know, you can watch my old stuff on YouTube. But as I always say, most importantly, you can find me here every Wednesday and Saturday with my buddy Russ Lyman for the weekly work life. That's right. Grab your mugs. <laughs> All right, guys. As always, I'm Russ Lyman and keep your world fun bit by bit. <laughs>